Hello everybody, my name is Ilse and this is Hobby KR, the channel where I make videos about anime events and culture, mostly in South Korea. Today I'm going to do a video about my can badge and pin collection. This is not all of it. I thought it would be fun to show you what I have. I probably don't have as much as most people, but I still have a pretty good collection, so I wanted to show you. I'm going to be dividing the video in my small can badges, which are the badges that you usually get, like in gacha. Then my medium, which are usually the ones you buy packaged. And then my super large can badges, then my can badges were a strange shape and at the end I'm gonna show you all my pins. So by pin I mean the ones that have like the little thing at the back. You'll see when I get there. So without further ado, let's get started on my collection. So these will be all done out of order pretty much just as I grab them. So the first pin that I have is this Michelle from Bang Dream. It's really cute, I love this collection. Uh, with the piñata or like pony or whatever it's called. I love it, but Michelle isn't my favorite. Next, we have Eve from Bang Dream out of the same collection. I love her colors. I'm just in love with this whole aesthetic of the collection. One day I would like to own all of them in this collection. Next up, I have this Irinko pin. I have a Roselia pin cover on it. So these are covers that you can get to protect your pins. And sometimes you can get them like with specific items or phrases, in this case, it's the band. It's really good for protecting your pins if you care about that. And what's really cool about this pin is that it is glow in the dark. So yeah, I mean, I don't know why you need that, but you can see it glow in the dark. I love this pin because this is my favorite Rinko picture. Next up, we have this Tomoyo pin. I really like it. Tomoyo is my favorite card captor Sakura character, and this was from Agacha. Next, we have Maya from Bang Dream, and this pin is from the same collection, gacha collection, as the Rinko one I just showed, so this one glows in the dark as well. Next up, we have this Hanazono Tae pin from Bang Dream as well. This collection is pretty popular, well, pretty well known and pretty accessible, I think, so I like this one as well. Next, we have this Aya pin from Bang Dream. This one also glows in the dark, and I absolutely love this pin. I love how the pink all goes together. I think the colors are really pleasing, and I, I really like it. Next up, we have this Card Captor Sakura Clear Card Act pin. I got this in like a box that came with a variety of pins and an acrylic charm. Really cute. Next, we have this Sayo pin from Bang Dream as well. Next, we have another Cactaptor Sakura Clear Card Act pin, Arc, sorry, pin. I also got this in the same collection I mentioned before, and this time it's Shaoran. Next, we have this Lisa pin from the same pony collection as before. Next, we have this Hina pin. Next is another Cactaptor Sakura pin from that same collection, and this one is Tomoyo. Next, we have a Tsugu pin from Bag Dream. And I also have a Maya pin from Bang Dream from that same pony collection. Finally, some variety. I have this Adonis pin from Ensemble Stars. I love this pin. As you can see, it has a holographic coating and I love his face. Adonis is a character I really like from Ensemble Stars. Even though I'm not super into the game, but I still like the character design and Adonis is the character that most appeals to me. But yeah, it's super reflective and I love that holographic coating. Next up, I have another Rinko pin with the pin cover. So this is also from the Pony Collection, as you can see here. I was able to find this in a store separately, so that was really lucky, because I didn't want to spend the money in Gacha trying to get her specifically, but I was able to find her. Next, we have this Tai pin, and this is also from that Glow in the Dark collection. Next, I have this Akko from Bang Dream pin, and this is my last pin from that Pony Collection. Next, I have this Kasumi pin from Bang Dream, and this is also from the Glowing in the Dark collection. This is another Michelle pin, also from that Glow in the Dark collection. And my last small pin is this uh, Kaoru pin from Bang Dream, and also from the Glow in the Dark collection. I also really like the colors in this one. Now we are moving on to my mid-size pin collection. This is mostly Hunter Hunter. So I have this Hisoka's Toy Box pin from Kurapika. Well, Hunter Hunter and it is Kurapika. Next, we have Karuto from that same Hisoka's Toy Box collection. Next, I have a Cafe Rinko pin. I would try to get this out of the cover, but it was a struggle to get it in, so I'm gonna leave it. 
Next is Morel. This is from the Hunter Hunter Animate Cafe collection. Next I have Kiroa from the Hisoka's Toy Box collection. Next I have Palm from Hunter Hunter and Animate Cafe collection. Next I have another Cafe Rinko pin. I actually really dislike the art in these, but I collect everything Rinko, so I had to get her. Next I have this Kizuna Ai pin. These were all like ex facial expressions, so I have a few others, you'll see that she has a different facial expression in all of them. This is a Nov pin from the Hunter Hunter and Animate Cafe collection. Next I have Gon from that Hisoka's Toy Box collection. Next, I have Knuckle from that same Hunter Hunter anime cafe collection. Knuckle is my favorite Hunter Hunter character, and it's my only Knuckle item that I own because it's rare to find any, so I absolutely love this pin. Here is another Kizuna Eye pin, and I have another one of those. I really don't like her face in this, but that's just the luck of the draw when you are getting pins randomly. Here is a shoot pin from that Hunter Hunter and Animate Cafe collection. Next I have this Reorio pin from that Hunter Hunter and Animate Cafe collection. I think this was from the second batch because they had two cafes. And this is my last pin from... Ooh, oh, I thought it was Scratch, but no, that's just the drawing. This is my last pin from that Hisoka's Toy Box collection and this is Kuroro, obviously. And the last of my medium-sized pins is this Kizuna Eye pin. She looks super cute. I love Kizuna Eye, she has such a cute design and personality. Next up are my super large pins. So we are gonna start with this Yue pin, a Yue and Kero pin, I love it. This is from that same pack that I talked about in my small pins. Next I have this Kuroro badge, um, these are so cool. So to compare, here is the big pin and then here is a medium pin. So it's fairly large. Next I have this Meruem pin and then it has everyone in the back. It has Knuckle too and it has a holographic coating as well. Love this pin. I loved this entire series. I wish I had gotten more when I had the chance. I have this Rinko pin from the Roselia fan meeting in 2018. Absolutely love this pin. And my last huge pin is this Meruem pin. So the next and final pin, cat well, can batch category is my irregular can badges. So let me start. First, I have this Rinko pin. So this is like a medium sized pin, but basically the note, the premise I guess of this product is that you can get various pins with different characters and then you each of them has a way to connect to each other so I could hang someone else here but I just have Rinko. Next is another Rinko pin. This is a large rectangular pin. To be quite frank I don't quite like this pin. It just looks like they kind of printed it at like Walmart or whatever but I have it. Next is one Hoshin NG pin. I love Hoshin NG for those who don't know. I really recommend it, although I don't really like the new version, but I have one. Next is a Rinko pin from this Bang Dream Pick Can Badge series. Also, I'm sorry that I keep calling them pins. It's just that in Spanish, we call this kind of thing a pin, but I know in English it's referred to as a can badge, so yes, if I say pin I mean can badge. Next up is this tiny tiny Rinko pin that I got in the Bang Dream Cafe, and my last irregular pin is this gorgeous Adonis from Ensemble Stars pin. It's a star shape, it's metallic, it has a teddy bear, it's everything you could ever want. Absolutely love this pin. Okay, and the last category is my, I guess, real pins. So by that, I mean pins like this that have the backing. So I have a large collection of these. Well, not really large, you'll see, but yeah, that's what I mean. So let's start up with this one. This is from the most recent Bang Dream Roselia and Reza Sweden joint concert. So I have Rinko, I got this in a towel set that had this pin, a towel, and also a wristband. Next up is Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. So I've never opened this, but I'll open it for this video. Here it is. I haven't even removed the coating. And I won't, but it's really cute. 
And I have another one. This is of Shoko. Again, I've never opened this. So here she is. Super cute. And I won't be using these anytime soon, so she's going back in the bag. And lastly, these, the next set of pins are gonna be all pins that I got from a store called Akuma Press. She's very famous for making pins, especially Yu Yu Hakusho pins. So I have pretty much like a lot of her Yu Yu Hakusho pins and then some of her Hunter Hunter pins. So let's get started. Glitter variant. So guys, this was my can badge and pin collection. Please let me know what you thought. Do you think I have enough? Do you think I have too many? Do you think I should get more? Um, how does it compare to your collection? And if you have any pins that you think are like beautiful and you think I would like, please recommend them down below. I'm always interested in getting more. Thank you so much for watching and until next week, goodbye.